and then I went on to the Sunday, uh, to my Sunday school class. The kids I had were about 13, 14 years old. They happened to be all white because our area was white. And suddenly, for the first time, I felt something different that. And I felt, too, that my own Sunday school class looked at me differently. All the time before, I think they just saw me as a Sunday school teacher. Nothing about my background being Japanese. But that morning, they did look at me strange. They probably knew that Pearl Harbor was being bombed. And, well, the Sunday school kids plus myself, we felt sort of funny. We never felt this way before. And so soon as I took them home, well, it, uh, three tall white men were at my door, and uh, my father had just come home from the hospital the day before. And when I opened the door to the white men who were knocking on the door, they asked if uh, Mr. Nakahara lived there. I said, oh yeah, but he just came home from the hospital and he's sleeping in the back. Well, these three guys walked in. I didn't know what they were till later, though, but it was a FBI you know, identification. And they, they didn't say anything. They just went in the house, went to the back, woke up my father and said, put on your bath open and slippers, I guess, uh, and they took him away just like that. And I and so I called my mother, I was the only one home then, and she was just down the street at my aunt's, and I said, Mom, come home quick. Some guys, uh, some white men came, and they took Pop somewhere, I don't know where, and they didn't tell me anything. And so she t uh, came home, and and uh, I th think probably this was happening to a lot of other Japanese. And so we were calling each other up saying, did anyone come to your house yet? Some of the people said yes, some said no, but they said they all had heard over the radio that Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. So we said, oh my God, I bet we're all going to be in trouble because we're Japanese and people won't think of us as being American, even if we are. 